So, Juice, man, I was sitting thinking the other day, watching the Jared McCain video, and I was like, man, Jared McCain might just be the most marketable player in high school basketball. And I, I want to know, do you agree with that? Or am I tripping? The the most marketable high school basketball player? Yeah, marketability. Outside of Bronny James, I think that Jared McCain might be the most marketable with a social media presence, uh, what he does with his vlog channel with his girlfriend. I think that's real creative, man. He's using the social media to take advantage of everything he got coming his way. Like that's why that's why you think he's the most marketable because of his TikTok, his YouTube, and his image with his girlfriend. Yeah, like his reach. I mean, if you're a company and you want to give somebody a product to have them get more people to buy your product, who who are you giving it to? I feel like if I give it to Jared McCain, he got a more reach than damn near any other players besides Bronny and Mikey Williams. That's why I'm excluding Bronny. I think he could be on the same level as a Mikey Williams here soon. And I, I think that... I mean, so one thing about Jeremy Kane and like Bronny and Amari Bailey and those like those guys get it, bro. They understand that it's in at least in this day and age, it's not about how good you are on the court. It's like if you understand that the marketability, you know, can you bring fans to your games? Can you promote a product for people? Can you get paid and then do whatever I just said? Like you want like they understand it, bro. I'm not gonna say that Jeremy McCain has a He's more marketable than a guy like Mikey, though, or Bronny. I mean, you did say Bronny, but as far as Mikey, because Mikey to me is on a different level because he can go nationwide no matter what school he goes to, no matter what city he goes to, what opposing team, the crowd is going to be packed every single time. Like we, me and you, we flew out to Miami to watch. <laughs> the, <laughs> to watch Let's not talk Mikey. about that. <laughs> like we flew to Miami to watch this man, Mikey Williams, bro. And it's like you can just see on Ball's Life and – you know, all these other like platforms, bro, his games are literally packed. There's a, the crowd is chanting overrated. They're chanting this, this. It's like, how are you going to chant overrated? How are you going to call him trash and all this, but you paid money to go watch Mikey? If Mikey was not at these games, like those people in the crowd, there will be nobody in, I'm not going to say there's going to be nobody in the gym, but it's like, you know what I'm trying to say, bro. Like, you know what you mean? That, that, yeah. and that's kind. That's kind of why, why I wanted to exclude Mikey Williams, also. Yeah. Um, because Mikey Williams, he's I, he already got the Puma deal, so obviously, bro, you know, he, he's marketable. I think, I think Mikey Williams is honestly bigger than Bronny James, in my personal opinion, as far as like what he can do and sell out arenas, sell out this, this. I think Mikey Williams is honestly more marketable solely on the fact that. He's on Instagram. He's on all these other platforms more than Bronny is. I feel like Bronny's more of a guy who's just like he he kind of lets his game do the talking, and then he's on social media occasionally. I don't think you ever see Bronny promote any products or anything like that, or kind of care to have his girl on IG or those little things. But it's like Mikey, he's on the platform a lot more. He's speaking to his fans a lot more. Sometimes you'll see that he will do those little question things. Right. Like I think I think Mikey's just more of an overall more uh, you know brandable more player at, at least right now in the future you know potentially if they get to the nba it could change but right now i think mikey's definitely the guy i do respect jared mccain as well you know doing what he's doing bringing his girl his youtube channel doing all that um especially with the tiktok thing bro like i feel like a lot of people <laughs> think that he's trash like he's not trash but like he's not good at basketball he's more focused on tiktok like bro jared mccain can drop a bucket the game i seen him play the for the first time in person like he dropped 30 against duncanville bro so Jeremy King can definitely play, and there's a reason why he's getting offers from Duke and all these other crazy schools. I seen you say he was going to go to Duke, but yeah, bro, they they get it. They understand the social media side of things. So if you had to give your top three most marketable high school basketball players right now, excluding Bronny James, you can add Mikey Williams if you want to. That's up for debate because, like I said, he already got the Puma deal, so he's already solidified as marketable. Um, I mean, if you had to give your top three, who would it be? I would say Mikey Williams for sure. Shout out to Jada Williams. Like her too, bro. Like she has her own fan base on like she she didn't just get her name because of Mikey, bro. Go do the research. Like Jada Williams on the female side, like she's the first uh female in high school sports to get a major deal, bro. I think I believe it's from Spalding, who used to be like the ball for the NBA. Like 
she has her own thing going on, bro. She has like a, a ton, thousands, thousands of followers on IG. Same thing with TikTok, bro. So it's like I have to put her in there as well. And um, shoot, who else is there? He said Jared. Would you go DJ Wagner or would you go? Nah, I, I, nah, because DJ. I I, but I feel like that could DJ Wagner kind of remind me like the. A Kawhi Leonard type of high school basketball. You don't really be on social media and stuff. I, I just looked up an interview the other day and I heard him say a word for the first time. I'm like, damn, he actually <laughs> talks. You know what I'm saying? And he he, yeah. he can really talk very well, also. So I think that's something that you can market a player like that because um he's not you know he, if he marketing your product, it's it's a reason behind it. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like he, yeah, he's not just taking any bag. Yeah, you know? I definitely I I 100 agree. I didn't even look at it from that sort of lens, like. You're actually right. It is kind of like a Kawhi Leonard. Like, there's – it's kind of – I feel like basketball players are kind of like rappers, bro. It's like they have those rappers that's all over social media, talking every day, change this, this, and that. And then there's people like, you know, Playboy Cardi who doesn't say anything, that has that mystery like mystery about him. So anytime you see him do an interview, it's like so exclusive. I feel like DJ Wagner, he can kind of be like that type of person. So if he – you're right. If he does run an ad or he's doing – promoting some sort of product, there's a reason behind it, and I feel like a lot of people would definitely tag along. I'm honestly surprised. I mean, do you think that brands have actually reached out to him or, or not really? See, I, I think that in DJ Wagner's situation, I think that his dad has been there, done that. And I think yeah. that his dad is guiding him in a different direction because his dad already scored 100 points in the game. His dad was the the, the basketball messiah coming out of New yeah. Jersey back in the day. So he, he already know what the – I'm not gonna say hype is about, but he he knows what this this stuff is about, and it's about the long run. So, I, I think he got him focused on getting getting you know to the NBA and being solidified yeah, DJ, in the league, and then worry about all that. Yeah, DJ Wagner, he's gonna be straight for sure. Even like a, I mean, I I feel like you gotta throw Robert Dillingham in there. You know, I feel like he has the play style that a lot of kids and a lot of people would just like to watch. Like you know, he's like a young Kyrie. That's what a lot of people kind of compare him to. So okay. Robert Dillingham, even like a Dior Johnson. Amari Bailey for sure. You definitely have to yeah. put Amari Bailey in there. Yeah, he got that Fashion Nova deal already. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah you, don't be, you be seeing him tagging Fashion Nova? Nah, I don't think I really – I don't really follow yeah, him. You don't, you don't really pay attention to it? Yeah, but I, I just watch him on the court. But I know for sure he's definitely a mark. Just the fact that you're hanging out with Drake, bro. It's like that, that says something about you. And um, let's see who else, the, who else is there. I know Sky Clark. He has, like, crazy, crazy but, hair. But, but, but you would put Jared McCain in the conversation, correct? I mean, I, I, I just, I, I just, I, him. I, I, yeah, you're okay. I, I just feel like, man, what he's doing with the, the girlfriend vlog shit, bro. I know we, we grown, so we don't really pay attention to that stuff. But yeah. from the outside looking in, it's like, damn, like, you know, why don't more players take this approach? I know everybody's not going to have the love life or something like that, but just uploading your life and how yeah. you grind on YouTube. But I know some people thing, work bro. behind the scenes, but with I mean, this, if you want to be marketable, you got to do some of the shit that he's doing. Facts. I mean, that's the thing though but you also have to understand that not everybody's like that bro not everybody's digital right. you know they're not they don't have right. that personality there's a lot of people who just are good at basketball but they don't have the personality and that's, that's fine you know yeah. but you can kind of learn and and try to figure out a way that you can do that in your you know the way you are but yeah like i said not everybody can do that for sure and I don't want nobody to just watch this video and start trying to force it start trying to do tiktok dances <laughs> if that's not you People will know that it's not you if it don't come naturally. Yeah, just, like, just, just leave I mean, it alone. I'm not, I'm not gonna say just don't try it for sure. Like I feel like you should, everybody should try something, but like, yeah, you. I guess people will kind of know if like it's like kind of forced or. Like I said, you have to just put your own twist to it. Like, don't change who you are as a person. You know, like just be the person that you that you 